Hey guys, Stent here for Games Defined and welcome to the first video in the After Effects basic training series. This video is going to be on the user interface. So if your user interface looks differently to mine, then it might be because you're using a different version of After Effects or you might have a different workspace. And if you don't know what I mean by workspace, then I'm going to be going over that in the video later on. So on the left, we'll start with the project panel. This is where all of your content will be stored. So by this, I mean the compositions, just like this one, images and videos, and any other acceptable files like Illustrator, Photoshop, and Flash files that you've imported. So you'll see some options at the bottom of the project panel. We'll start with the far left, the interpret footage option. If you select your footage, either images or videos, then and select the interpret footage uh, button then you'll see this load of options come up I'm not going to go through the options because that's a completely different video but yeah they're the options the next button is the create a folder button that just simply creates a new folder and allows you to rename it straight away but if you accidentally click off it like I just did then just select the folder again and press enter and then start typing and that makes no sense at all the next one is a button to create a new composition which is a short uh, you know it's a shortcut instead of going up to uh, composition new composition and again in another video I'll go through all these settings for you next is the uh, project settings this you can choose how many um, bits per channel your color settings are again I'll go through this in another video the next one is the delete button so if you've got a file you don't want then just click delete and that will get rid of it for you directly underneath the project panel is the timeline panel which is this one here it's currently empty because we haven't started working on it yet now whenever you see anything in this section here which is the composition window it will appear down here now to make things appear down here you can either drag your item onto the composition window and it will appear down here or you can simply just drag the item down onto the actual timeline now if you have two or more files down here or even one or more files then once you drag the file down you'll see this little black line this is the indicator for where your layer if you like is going to be placed so that one was directly in between layer one or two so that's where it's going to be placed and you can just click and drag it around to put it wherever you want on the right side of the timeline panel is the actual timeline which is this this is where you can scrub through your project with this little scrubber handle and this red line and you can also cut layers and do other cool stuff here but for now we'll just leave that for another video now these panels down the right hand side may change um, depending on which ones you have but I'll just go through them you have the effects and presets this is where all your effects and presets are going to be so if you want to have uh, say a blur on then you just come down to here find the blur and sharpen and then just uh, put your effect on uh, if you know which effect you're looking for you can also just type it here so you, you know you got your blur all your things to do with blur here but we'll go through that in more depth in the effects video the preview this is where you can preview your video so you've got the RAM preview which is the most commonly used one to check everything and this does include sound unlike this play button for some reason the info this is where it tells you everything about the color and the position so the X and Y is the position of your cursor so you can see that changing and the RGBA is the color information so this tells you what colors you're pointing at the audio is where you can change audio settings by making it louder or quieter or anything like that and you can change these panels here by coming up to window and these are all the panels that you can have you can also import custom panels but that's a whole new thing that is that's a whole new video um, so say you want 
to have your character bar on you come to window select character and then you can have that on now your workspace this is what I was talking about at the beginning of the video this here this is where you can change your workspace so if you click this little arrow then you'll see that in the drop down menu we have all these options these are preset for different uses within After Effects for example if you're doing some animation then come to the animation workspace and you'll have these panels appear which are best for you know animation or if you are into your motion tracking then you'll get all your motion tracking panels now if you want to create your own custom workout then I'll just go back to standard for a second then next to the name of the panel you, you'll see these dotted lines if you click and drag these then you'll see the panel um, at, well it will stay there but if you drag your mouse over the different panels you'll see this happen this is where you can place the other panels so say we want it halfway between here so you've got half the composition and half the preview just place it here and then you'll see that this happens if you don't actually want it docked anywhere so you you can you're just free to move it anywhere you want then just press this option here at the end of the panel and click undock panel and you'll be able to move it wherever you want but for now I'm just going to put it back up there no I'm not I'm going to put it there so say you want to uh, just place that there and you've created your own workspace you can save this work workspace by coming up to the workspace option again pressing the little arrow and on the drop down menu click new workspace and then you can start to type it um, you just name it whatever you want then press OK and then say you want, you've changed the workspace and you want it back just press the little arrow again and your option will come up here so there we've got our own workspace but if you want to go back to no say you've edited it again and you've put the composition window up there and everything and it looks a complete mess and you want to send your user interface back to the first way you did it you come up to this option again click reset and in the brackets it should say the name of the workspace you've got enabled just click that click yes and it will send your layout back to how it was now we're just going to go through these toolbars but before I do that I'm just going to reset my workspace to standard uh, just reset standard again and I'm going to move these up here just so it's easier to see the first one is the selection tool this allows you to actually select objects so that you can do whatever you want the next is the hand tool which is this one this allows you to pan your composition window the third one is the zoom tool so this allows you to zoom into the window by selecting the area by uh, clicking and dragging and it will it will zoom into the area that you want to look at the next is the rotation so this allows you to rotate your image in the X and the Y axis the next is the camera tool this does absolutely nothing at the minute because this is a 2d layer but this allows you to rotate um, zoom in and look around your 3d object the next option is the pan behind this allows you to move your anchor point so that's this little thing here this allows you to move that around and if you hold control while moving this around then it snaps to different points the next one is the rectangle tool this allows you to do two things you can draw a rectangle or for that matter hold down the mouse on this button and you can get any of these five different shapes or if you have a layer selected so we've got this UV checker layer this one here selected and if you draw a rectangle or any shape it allows you to mask out the well whatever you've got selected the next option is the pen tool this allows you to create custom shapes so 
again just any shape you want and you can um, get the bezier handles just by clicking down and uh, you know just moving around or you can create different straight lines this also allows you to mask out anything you want to just like the rectangle tool does the next option is the text tool this just basically allows you to write text so you can either click on uh, wherever you want or you can click and drag and it creates a box for you to type in so let's just say that it, it won't allow you to go outside the box so let's just delete these because we don't really want these anymore the brush tool allows you to paint and you can't do this until you double click on a layer so let's say the UV checker again if you double click on this then it allows you to draw uh, anything that you want to and if we go back to the composition window then you'll see that shape here and all your paint options are down here so the next option is this clone stamp tool this is very similar or if not the same uh, uh, clone stamp tool as the one in Photoshop and to use that you, again you have to double click on the layer so we'll try the logo this time and let's just zoom in a bit here if you hold alt you see your cursor changes to this li this little target this is where you select what you want to copy so say um, we want to copy some of this brown color you hold alt click once and now you uh, let go of alt and your cursor changes to this circle now if you start drawing then you start to get this little um, clone of the first thing that you selected so um, if we start to draw on the original thing that you clicked you'll see this little cross here this is telling you what exactly you are copying so at the minute I'm copying this second play or back button whatever it is so that is a really good tool to use the next is the eraser tool this allows you to just rub out or erase any of your picture so like the others you have to double click the layer to be able to edit it and you simply just start to delete what you want the reason mine is orange is because I set my background color in the composition window to orange so normally it's a black background so usually this will be a black background um, and not orange the next option is the roto brush tool this allows you to mask out whatever you want and remove it from the background and as you play your um, as you play your footage it will automatically keep to the lines of that thing that you want to remove the background from this is a very very good tool because in the past you had to have people that go frame by frame and alter the mask which is very very time consuming and you really have to have a lot of patience to do that and finally the last option is the puppet pin tool and this allows you to create little pins on say a human and it allows you to create little animation points so you would put one on the elbow and then put one on the shoulder and then one on the wrist and you can animate your thing around those little puppet pins so that is the user interface hope this video helped you understand and if it did then you can go and mess around with the UI and get whatever look you want if not then you can always go back and re-watch this video until you understand so thanks for watching guys please like comment and subscribe to games defined for more cool videos and i'll see you next time have a good one